Hey, hello there. Today I'm looking at the binary tree question 1026, maximum difference between node and ancestor. So given the root of a binary tree, we want to find the maximum difference between two tree nodes values such that uh, uh, on one condition that one of the node has to be a ancestor of the other node. Uh, looking at the example, we have this binary tree with values 8, 3, 10, 1, 6, 14, 4, 7, and 13. So uh, if we drop this constraint that uh, one of the nodes has to be an ancestor of the other one, uh, we can just uh, uh, look at all the nodes inside this binary tree, try to find the node with the largest value, that's going to be 14, looking at uh, the other node with the uh, the, the, no, the tree node with the smallest value, that's going to be 1, and take that difference. That That is uh, as if we can drop this constraint. Uh, but if we push this uh, constraint back on, notice that uh, uh, if node A is an ancestor of uh, node B, that means B has to be on the uh, subtree of node A. So in the other word, node A and B, they must be uh, on the same root to leave pass. So instead of uh, doing whatever traverse order that we want to do, a traverse or um, method we can do, uh, we, uh, this is telling us we want to do DFS search. So we uh, examine all the possible um, route to leave pass. Uh, so that's, uh, that's if we, uh, you know, one of the example would be visit 8, 3, 1, finish the one pass, backtracking, and then visit 6, 4, so it's uh, the other route to leave pass. So if we do DFS search, uh, uh, DFS traverse, it's guaranteed that uh, um, uh, the nodes we visited, uh, uh, they're going to be forming this kind of uh, ancestor and descendant relationship. So um, Basically, this question now is become uh, becomes uh, try to find the maximum uh, tree nodes value difference uh, on all the uh, root to leave passes. So for every given uh, every possible root to leave pass, we're gonna record the uh, maximum tree uh, tree node value. We're gonna record the minimum tree node value. Once we reach the leave. Uh, we, we do an update trying to update the global maximum difference we find so far. Uh, once we done the DFS traverse on the whole tree, well, we can return that global value, global maximum difference we find. Uh, so the time and space is going to be linear in respect to both time and space. Uh, so that's, that's uh, pretty much the analysis. It's, um, um, yeah, this uh, ancestor and the descendant uh, requirement it lead, leads us to uh, think about using DFS search. Uh, BFS is not uh, suitable for this uh, purpose. So let's code this thing up. That's pretty simple actually. Uh, since that we want to do DFS search, we get uh, a stack for this purpose. Um, note that uh, during our traverse, we want to keep track of uh, three things. One is the current uh, node, the other one is the maximum tree node value we have find, uh, the third thing is the minimum tree node value we have find during this uh, uh, root to leave pass. So we have three things on the stack, uh, as, uh, we have a triplet on the stack, which is the current node, uh, the current minimum, and uh, the current maximum. Uh, and we have a, a, a this this v here, which is the um, maximum difference between two tree nodes value. Uh, so initially, I'm just gonna set this to be uh, zero. Uh, so I'm gonna use a quick node here. It says the current node uh, minimum uh, pass minimum. And pass my. Oh, I can I can just unpack them with more meaningful names. So let's do DFS search. While the stack is not empty, that means we have node we can continue doing this uh, traverse. We pop out uh, one of the triplets from the node uh, from the stack, which is going to be the current node, the pass minimum, and pass maximum. Once we've done that, uh, we will try to update this pass minimum and pass maximum. 
compare the prior pass minimum with this particular node's value. After we've done these two steps, uh, we will look at uh, the uh, two children's. child m if the child exists uh, we will push this child node together with the new minimum and new, new maximum back to the st stack Uh, one last thing is that um, uh, if the node is actually a termination, a leaf node, then we want to update the big V there. In the end, we can just return the big V. Uh, yeah, so this is a pr pretty simple. Um, uh, all we need to do is to figure out, uh, do we really want to do BFS search or DFS search? And uh, this uh, ancestor uh, to de descendants relationship uh, is telling us we should use DFS search. Um, and to, to realize that uh, the difference is pretty much going to be uh, the maximum and minimum among um, for every root to leave pass, we want to do this maximum and minimum. Uh, we want to find the maximum and minimum and take the difference. Uh, and then uh, the V that we want to return is the global minimum. Uh, so, so that leads to this code pretty naturally. Uh, yeah, that's the three question today.